our Shalom Makim. Uh, first of all, we want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rakakudash. You know, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, uh, fellow Akim out there pushing his word and choose sincerity. Okay? So we want to just do a quick, uh, small, impromptu lesson. You know, we're just going to roll in the spirit. That's right. Spirit of the Lord, of course, we're in a we're in a year of prophecy. The prophecies are proliferating. Okay, Spirit of the Lord is is, is upon His men. Okay, to speak. All right, and, and 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 America's going down. It's very it's very clear and evident to see. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, go ahead and you know, whatever brothers got. Uh, Jeremiah fifty one and one. Thus saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. And against them, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Yeah, destroying wind. That's talking about that nuclear destruction, that nuclear destruction that's very near uh, uh, encroaching upon the inhabitants of, of Babylon, which Babylon is code name in the scriptures, all right, for America, all right. And that destroying wind is talking about that nuclear destruction that's about to pursue, that's about to pursue America, all right. For, for against the Heavenly Father, the crimes against the Heavenly Father's people. Okay, continue. Yeah, verse 2 says, And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Yeah, fanners that shall fan her and empty her land. Get uh, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 14, okay? Because this place is going to be totally empty, okay? By, by those nuclear missiles, man. Okay, go ahead. It shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Yeah, in the day of trouble, and the day of trouble is rapidly approaching. Uh, 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 we're, we're in the beginning stage of the day of trouble, actually. Okay? To where to where America, America, everybody's going to come against America. That's right. All, all these nations are going to come against America. Okay? You, you see that. You see North Korea, South Korea, they're getting together. You see Russia. Russia, Russia just did a victory day parade. Right with all their nuclear, uh, well, all their nuclear arsenal, all their military arsenal. Okay, they 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 added drones to their military arsenal. Okay, and pretty much that victory, they're they're claiming victory on the destruction of America. That's really symbolic. But during but during that stages, that's when we're going to come into power. That's when Yahweh Shai is going to come into power. Read that. This is Jeremiah chapter fifteen and thirteen. Uh, 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 four, uh fourteen, fourteen, and, and fourteen. Put yourselves in array against Babylon yep. round about. Yeah, put yourself in arrays against Babylon round about. This is talking about all the other nations that are going to take up arms against Babylon. Because at one point, Babylon was the hammer of the earth. Babylon was the, was the, was the nation that went around and, could, and subdued all the nations. Okay, go ahead. It says, all ye that bend the bow. All ye that bend the bow. So that's going into that destroying wind. Because they have uh, these nuclear, uh, uh, these nuclear missiles, thermonuclear missiles, ICBMs that are going to be shot off from one end of the Earth to the other. Okay, all those that bend the bow anciently, when you bend the bow, that means an archer. The modern day archer are the uh, and, and bow is the nuclear silos and there's and those missiles, the ICBMs. So all nations that have that technology, go ahead. It says. Shoot at her, spare no arrows. Shoot at her and spare no arrows. 200 million missiles according to the scriptures. What is that, Revelation the ninth chapter? Mm -hmm. Okay. So those nuclear, the nuclear missiles talking about the warheads. And this was talked about in, 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 a, in a multitude of chapters, okay, in, in the holy scriptures. Uh, Joel, the second chapter, talks about the, talks about the, uh, uh, the, the, the appearance of these, of these missiles. Okay, bro, keep reading. It says, for she has sinned against the Lord. So this is the because you have sinned against the Lord. What, what, are, what are some of those sins? Homosexuality, transgenderism, okay? Uh, uh, tampering with the food, tampering with the air, tamp tampering with the ordinances, are putting, putting the God's chosen people into slavery, oppressing them, are cha changing up all the orders of the world, okay? Saying that there is no God, so you, so uh, Esau is the one who has done this. He has to pay. Okay, you Edomites have to pay. That's and, right. And how are you going to pay? One of those ways you're going to pay. The final way you're going to pay is, nu is nuclear missiles going to be shot off here in America. Okay, 
Uh, read that. Verse 15. Shout against her round about. She hath given her hand, for her foundations are fallen. Yeah, her foundations are falling. The whole structure of Babylon is falling. Physically, okay? And physically, spiritually, uh, uh, morally, okay? All that. Get, get Malachi the first chapter. That, it don't, finish that, that 15. It says her walls are thrown down. Her walls are thrown down. And really, you can read the whole chapter, man. Okay? Her walls are thrown down. How, are, how is Babylon's walls going to be thrown down? All right? Only one thing that's going to do that. All right? It's, it's talking about the, heaven, the, Lord, the Lord's arsenal, the, the Lord's uh, 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 weapon, weaponry, because he's the one who has given these nations uh, 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 the capability to uh, uh, create these, these weapons of his indignation. Quick, yeah, precept, boy, yep. Yep. Isaiah 54 and 16. Yep. Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. Yeah, the, 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 the ancient smith, the weapon smith, would, would create uh, 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 weapons, weapons of warfare. The scriptures talk about how the Lord, he's a man of war. So war has always been here on the planet Earth. Okay, nations have always taken up arms against each other. And the Lord, he gave the so-called white man the blessing of the sword, so he gave him the ability to create a, a, a diabolical a weapons of indignation, okay? A, a weapons of mass destruction, WMDs. And one of those weapons of mass destruction is the ability to, to split the atom, okay? The ability to split the atom and dematerialize you, okay? Go ahead. Yep, it says, Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for, my, for his work, and have created the waster to destroy. The waster, that waster is to destroy. Get uh, uh, Isaiah 34. So the Lord, he created that waster to destroy you people, man. Okay, to destroy all the unrighteous. Okay, the unrighteous of our people. Okay, two thirds of our people are gonna get caught up in that thermonuclear fire. Read that. Isaiah 34 and one. Come near ye nations to hear and hark ye people that the earth here and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it. Verse 2, for the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is upon all nations. The indignation is talking about the Lord's righteous judgment. Okay, this is this is righteous what's going to happen to America. This is righteous, uh, uh, 200 million missiles are going to get shot off and burn up the whole landmass of America and burn up everything you see. Okay, no, no inhabitants are going to be here ever again. This is how wicked this place has been. Okay, this is how much amount of blood has been spilt on the land of America. Okay, you have the children of Israel still here in captivity to this day. All right, locking them up, uh, uh, pushing, chopping charges on them. Unri unrighteous dealing, ill dealings, man. Go ahead. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Okay, the slaughter is, is going to fall upon all you nations, primarily the, 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 the top nation of the world right now, the nation of Edom. Okay? Yep. Verse 3 says, Their slain also should be cast out of their stink. It says, Their slain also should be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's a mushroom cloud. Okay. All right, that's what the ancient, when the ancient prophet saw these visions, all right, when the Lord uh, led them in a spirit to see these visions, okay, they, they, uh, they liken the things that they saw to things that they, they knew uh, during that time. And when he saw, when the prophet Isaiah, he saw that nuclear destruction, he likened it to what? A, a mushroom cloud rolling together, okay? So that's essentially what's going to happen. You're going to have... Uh, 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 millions of mushroom clouds that are going to pursue America and, 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 it, and it's going to dematerialize you. It's going to waste you. It's going to waste your elements. It's going to, it's going to take your spirit from out of your body. Go ahead. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as the falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. My sword, the Lord's sword is, 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 is the, the, uh, the Lord's weapons of indignation. His, right, his righteous anger. Those are weapons of righteous anger. Okay? Just as the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? The Lord, that was righteous anger to destroy all them Hamites, all the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah, the five cities that surround them. Okay? So 
this is essentially what's going to happen now. Yeah, the script is safe. Uh, Babylon, Babylon, the Chinese, the Mossad, 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 the Shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is a Greek way of saying uh, Edom. Alright, so you can't get you can't run from this judgment, Esau. Okay? You can do you can do whatever you want to do. You can hide, you can say, you can say whatever you want to say. You can lock up whoever you want to lock up. The word is going to come out. The Lord said he has he has seven thousand men that have not bowed down to the, the image of Baal. Meaning you can't you can't buy these men out. Okay? Because it's, it's already it's already said in the prophecy that twelve thousand out of each tribe were, were going to be sealed, and that he was going to save his, his elect his remnant. Okay, go ahead. So it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judge. That's right. You're the people of the Lord's cur curse, the judgment, this righteous judgment that's going to pursue America and destroy all you Edomites. Okay, and that that was it on that. There's more. Yeah, it's just yeah. one more yeah, verse. Yep. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have mm -hmm. a sacrifice in Basra yep. and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Yeah, so the Lord, he's going to be appeased with this sacrifice. And that sword that's going to be in heaven, all right, the sword representative of a killing instrument. And that's essentially what these uh, these missiles are. They're killing instruments. All right, they're, they're not used for anything else. You can't, you don't, you don't, you don't set them up in your living room. All right, as a as a base, or or you put them on display. No, you shoot them. You 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 uh, you let them loose. You put the coordinates in, put the latitude, the longitude. Okay, the 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 uh, the so-called uh, the, uh, the 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 the, uh, the the missile system, and you 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 tell them to go in one place, and they do it. They don't they don't they don't buck up. They don't fight back. And what do they do? They fall they fall on the earth, and they destroy. They kill everything in, in sight. They have no mercy okay and that's essentially what's going to happen the lord's not going to show any, this place america no mercy all right because you have not shown our people no mercy all right read that shemayim all right it's back in jeremiah chapter 50 finishing off on verse 15 for it is the vengeance of the lord it is the vengeance of the lord which is the righteous indignation of the lord okay that's the lord's vengeance man the lord is he's angry Okay, you, you don't you don't even see that the Lord's angry. He's about to destroy this place. It's because the evil man understands not judgment. Okay, and the Lord has blinded you people to not understand what's going to happen. That's why He has His promise out. So whether you hear, whether you forbear, forbear, whether you believe or not, this judgment is still going to come. It says, "Take vengeance upon her as she hath done do unto her." Take vengeance yeah. upon her. As she has done, talking about Babylon, talking about the, uh, uh, the, the people of Babylon, the rulers of ba Babylon, the Chaldeans, the modern day Egyptians, which, which are the, the biblical Edomites. The scriptures equate Esau with the daughter of Babylon in Psalms, what, Psalm 37? If I'm not mistaken, in the 47? What'd you say, uh, Psalms 137? Seven, Psalms 137 equates the daughter of Babylon with the children of Edom, mm -hmm. okay? So this is going to be the Lord's righteous judgment. I got that in Malachi. Yep, yep, go ahead. This is Malachi chapter 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Yeah, that's right. All the proud and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And what, how can, how can, uh, um, what's going to burn like oven? What, what? What what can burn as an oven? How is a day gonna burn as an oven? Get uh, uh Zechariah 14. Is that 14 and 5? It's 14. It's 14 and 12. 12. 14 and 12, slot here. You got it yeah, I'm going to right there. This is the only thing that can do that, man. It's plain and evident to see that the only thing that can make a day burn as an oven. Are those nuclear missiles now the lord he can he can actually do that if he wanted to just do, do just do his thought but he's going to use he's going to use uh the, the arsenal that he had built up 
He's going to use his military might, which are which are the form of these other nations, to destroy each other. Yep. And the, um, he's going to use his army, which is the missiles. Okay, because the Lord has uh, three armies. He has the host of heaven, the, uh, the angels. Okay, he has his uh, his men, the house of David, and he also has the nuclear missiles. Yep. It's um, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Yep. And, and this is part of the plagues that's going to befall America. All right. And not only America that's going to get nuked, but there's going to be other parts of the world that get nuked. All right. The, the land of uh, Israel currently being inhabited by Edomites. All right. Who, tribe of Amalek. Yeah, the tribe of Amalek. All right. And, and they're, they're claiming to be us. All right. So the Lord, he's going to have to cleanse that land also. Right along with the land of, of America, but America ain't gonna be inhabited no more. Yeah, All right, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah America is gonna have to be uh, a, an example, you know, a monument. All right, so everybody gonna remember America being being the land of the wicked, man. All right, and the Lord, He's gonna finish it off with these missiles. That's yeah. right. Yeah. All right, and, and this is one of this is the last plague that's gonna hit America. And this will be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's right. And their eyes shall, shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Yep, and that's that, that day that shall burn as an oven. Mm -hmm. All right. And what is going to cause that? Those nuclear missiles, which the Lord, He put in the spirit in these Edomites to create these weapons of mass destruction, which is going to lead to their own destruction. All right. All the people that came up against Jerusalem are predominantly the, the elect, all right, the men of the Lord that's preaching. All right. Two thirds is gonna be caught up in that nuclear fire. The, uh, the, these Edomites is gonna get caught up. All right. These other nations that are left here are gonna get caught up in those missiles, man. Yeah, that's the plague that the Lord is gonna uh, is gonna smite everyone that has fought against Jerusalem. All right. They fought against the uh, the Israel of the Most High. So two thirds of our people have uh, come up against us. All right. Really, every hey, if you're not with us, you're against us, man. Everybody comes up against us, man. All right. That's why everybody here in Babylon is gonna be destroyed, except for the elect. That's right. Man. They're going to fall upon those plagues. America's going to collapse. All right? There's going to be martial law, famine, all right? death and destruction. But everyone that is left all right, is going to get finished off with that final plague. All right? They're going to get burnt to death. All right? burn. you're, you're, the elements is going to break down your whole body, man. All right? Your skin is going to burn off the, uh, the meat. All right? The meat is going to burn off the bones. All right? Then the bones is going to disintegrate. All right, that's a that's a poor way to go, man. <laughs> that's the oh, that's the ultimate that's the ultimate uh, anger of the Lord, man. To actually suffer the de uh, the dematerializing of your flesh and your spirit still uh, 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 actually be inside you, mm -hmm. and then and then then just the the an uh, anticipation of nuclear missiles being shot up in the sky, okay, covering the whole host, covering the uh, the whole sky. Of the of the earth, and and let let's let's talk about Yahweh Shai mm. on on a chariot on what you will call a UFO, a big UFO to where you cannot see the beginning or the end, okay. And then all the Lord is going to lead literally uh, uh, let out all the hosts of heaven, tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of of angels and and, and chariots themselves, okay, uh, uh, shooting uh, laser beams, okay. Go ahead, bring that up. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 1 and 14. The great day of the Lord is near. Mm -hmm. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the, of the Lord. The, Even the voice of the day of the Lord. So just the sound of the day of the Lord is going to be treacherous. Okay? Yeah. That's why they come up against this truth. All right? They don't want to hear about the day of the Lord. All right? They, they get cut to the spirit. You know? That's why they buck up, they, they get, they buck up against it, man. All right? Because we're telling you the day of the Lord is nothing but terrible. And, and death, all right, and destruction, all right, and the so-called white man is going to be put to death, and the remedy is going to be thrown in slavery, right? right? But they don't want to hear that, all right. So how much more when the day actually approaches, all right, and when it when it actually happens? When that siren go off, man, you know, and they say this is not a test. Yeah, yeah uh, the emergency alert system, yeah. saying that missiles have been shot off from Russia, from China, from Iran, from Pakistan, from India, okay, from different these different islands. All right, from uh, the European, the European nations. Yep, yep. Okay. That's gonna, be, so that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be a very great day. And just the anticipation of that day 
is going to make men's hearts to fail themselves. Yep, yep. The scripture said that the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Go ahead. It says, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry their bitterly. Oh man, that's the spirit. The mighty men shall cry their bitterly. The, the, might, the, the men of might, the men of great renown here in America, you meet of some other nations. Okay? You're going to cry very bitterly in that day. Okay? Your, your, your hands are going to be feeble. Okay? You're going to you're going to be you're going to be like a woman that's in travail that's travailing. Travailing, meaning a woman that's about to uh, in labor pains. You're going to be holding your your bowels. Okay? You're going to have heart attacks. It's going to say men's hearts feeling them men's hearts uh feeling them for uh, looking at things that are coming up upon the earth. You know? So you going to be heart uh, drop dead from heart attacks, you know? That's how it's going to be out here, man. People gonna be trying to uh, seek seek shelter. Okay, you see how it was in Hawaii, going into the sewer and shit. All right. What is that gonna do, man? <laughs> Just take your judgment. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and destruction. And that's exactly what we're preaching. We're preaching that day of a uh, uh, distress, wastefulness, destruction. Okay. It says a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of darkness. This is a day of darkness, man. It's not a day of, 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 of birth and, and tabrets and, and songs and joy. Okay, no, this is going to be a day where everybody, everybody's going to feel that, that, uh, that, that, that pain inside their body. They're going to feel that anxiety, that depression. They're going to feel that dread. It's going to be dreadful, man. And then they're gonna, they're, then they're gonna remember all the shit that they, they said about us. Then, then, then the Lord is gonna open up their mind and make them remember everything that we said. Okay, vividly. Okay. It says a day of clouds and thick darkness. All right, because the clouds, hey man, when those mist, when those missiles get let off, when those alarms go off. All right, hearing them on the radio station. Skies is gonna be darkened with all those missiles, man. God. That's gonna be shot off in the sky. All right, going back to uh, Malachi, the uh, fourth chapter. It says, "In the day that cometh shall burn them up," saith the Lord yeah, of hosts. Yeah, burn them up. <laughs> you people, are, you people are about to get burnt up, okay? And you don't even know it. You don't even take it to heart. All right. And the Lord is about to melt you. Go ahead. It says that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Mm -hmm. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall. Yep, that son of righteousness is talking about Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And he is the physician to heal us. And, and we pray that we get beamed up. See, see, you people are not going to have any type of... Uh, 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 you're not gonna have any type of what's the word I'm looking for uh, Help me out uh, uh, hope in that day Because you're wicked Okay, no type of covering you're not gonna have any type of covering all your gods are gonna forsake you in that day You're not gonna know what to do man. We're, we're gonna actually call upon our power to save us Okay, which is our rock our solid foundation yep. and these other nations don't have a solid foundation all right, all these other these wicked people that do wickedly, they don't have a, a solid, sure foundation to go to. So in that day, man, they're just going to be flailing. All right, they're they going to be all over the place, man. Yep. All right, they going to be losing their mind. They're going to be pulling their they, they hair out. All right. And it's going to be, they telling you, man, they ain't going to have no foundation at all, man. No, they're not going to have any stability. Yeah. And when you, have, you don't have no stability, it means you, you lose your equilibrium, meaning you're going to fall. And how great is that fall going to be? Pretty much the Lord's going to kick you while you're down. And then he's going to finish you off with a nuclear missile, man. Okay? We can start wrapping it up. Uh, uh, where you at? I was on that other time. I got a precept? All right. It's um, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, that's right. This is all going into the day of the Lord, man. 
This is all going into prophecy, the day of the Lord, meaning this day, man, when the nuclear missiles get shot off, man, the Lord, he, man, he gonna burn everything up, man. He gonna burn the whole la land mass of America, okay? The, the earth is gonna rock to and fro like a drunkard, okay? The, uh, the, the island is gonna move from their, from their place. Yep. You're gonna have tsunamis. You already have earthquakes. Uh, you already have uh, uh, volcanoes, volcanoes erupting. Yep, yep. Hawaii going crazy where there's a whole <laughs> bunch of volcanoes erupting. The gases from the uh, the earth are coming up. So how much greater this is going to happen to the whole world? And how much greater is going to happen here in America, man? Yeah. Where hundreds of millions of people are going to get burnt up, man. Yep. The Lord, the Lord, ain't, the Lord is not playing. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 11. Seeing that, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yep. Hey, seeing, seeing that the Lord has all these things, these horrible things planned for this land, all right, the Lord has all these horrible things planned for the wicked, all right? How, what, what manner of people shall we should, how, so that we should be? So like, all right, we should be a man in the spirit, man. We're supposed to be a man of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we're supposed to always be abounding in the faith, man. That's right, it's a spirit. I was just finna say that. It's a That's spirit. right. All right, we we supposed to always be uh, uh, analyzing ourselves, all right, sizing ourselves up, whether we are going according to the scriptures, man. All right, because hey, that day, man, is going to be scary, man. All right, but the men of the Lord is going to be standing firm. Looking for the hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Hey, we're hastening the day, man. We, we, we're crying unto the Lord to get, to get us out of here, man. And we're, we're getting our mind mentally prepared, meaning our spirit mentally prepared for this, for this day, man. And the days, the days that are going to uh, uh, um, uh, prelude Jacob's trouble. Okay, we can't forget about that. Go ahead. It says, we're in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yep. Verse 13, nevertheless, we according to his promise. To his promise. Go ahead. Look for new heavens. New heavens, new rulership on the planet Earth. Go ahead. Yep. And a new earth. And a new earth that's going to be renewed. And refreshed. And refreshed. Okay. Go ahead. It says, wherein dwelleth the righteousness. Right. So we're, we're waiting for righteousness to, to proliferate. We're waiting for righteousness to cover the planet. Or we're waiting for Yahweh Shai, all right, who is the son of righteousness. We're, wait, we're waiting for him to come save us. That's right. Okay. Begging, you know, on the lowest line daily, signing and crying. For him to send his son back, man, you know, and bring us out of this hell. Verse, um, one more verse, 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Yep, it says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, all right, that we're looking for this place to be destroyed. Okay, we're looking for the Lord to return. All right, yeah, you better be in the, um, in the spirit, man. You know, it says, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Yeah, that your garment isn't dirty, man. That you're blameless in this thing, man. That you're worthy of salvation. Yeah. You know, that you're worthy to be saved from this destruction. And the key word is diligent. Yeah. All right. Diligent, meaning every day, man. Every day you should be meditating upon the scriptures, upon the prophecies. All right. You should be striving to be better, man. Good. I got a... Uh, got... You got any precepts? Uh, no. I was holding. I just want to go ahead. And hey, we, can, we can start wrapping the last couple of precepts. Yep. Uh, Jake might, might can end on this. Okay. Spirit. First Corinthians 15 and uh, 58. Yeah, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always mm. abounding in the work of the Lord. Mm. Abounding, man. You're continuing. I Meaning you're growing in His Word. I mean, you're being diligent. Go ahead. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. Our in the labor Lord. is not in vain. So what we're doing is not in vain, man. Yep. The word vain means worthless, of no use. Now nah, we're we're actually this is useful. Okay, this is useful to Yahweh Bashamal Shah. He said by the foolishness of preaching, he will save, he will, he will, he's gonna save them. Yep, that believe. That believe. Okay. That's right. Alright, because really, alright, the Lord, he doesn't need us, alright, but he's giving us mercy. Alright, he's letting us work out our own salvation. All right, so all the works that we doing is not in vain, man. So all the hard work and striving, all right, putting our all in this, all right, the Lord is not going to forget. 
that. All right, we're not doing it for no reason, man. Just to quote a scripture of Hebrews six and ten: For the um, for the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, right. which you have showed toward His name, that you have ministered unto the saints and do minister. Mm. The word, you know, the key word is do minister. You have to continue. Abound continue to faith. serve. Yeah. Minister means to serve. Continue to serve. How are you serving? By uh, uh, by preaching. Okay, that's one of that's one of the top. That's one of the top uh, 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 ways to serve the heavenly Father, man. Okay, so we have to continue to do that, and then we're gonna get a great reward. This is that uncorruptible crown. Yep. All right. Uh, a rulership. All right, and 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 being in the good graces of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right, so He will never do away with us again, man. So we can rule the earth in righteousness for eternity, man. All right, this is it. This is it. This is it, man. This is the end, man. All right, the, the prophets of before, man, I, they, they was, they was, uh, they wish they they was in the position that we're in right now, man. Which they are, just through the spirit, you know, reincarnation. Yeah, that's right, let's get that's it. Right. Let's go. So, you know, with that, we want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to our fellow uh, Akim, the, the house of David. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.